Stark Reality Garage, and uh, today I'm working back in the garage. Got the garage all set up so I can get the MR2 back in, and uh, I'm working on the issue that has been plaguing me for the longest time on this car, and that is that I keep getting a uh, P300 uh, and a P302 um, codes coming up. So it's saying that I have a random misfire and a misfire in cylinder two, but it's also been in cylinder one, and as you know, before I changed out the coils because I swapped the coils between two and one, and uh, thinking that it was the coil that was giving me this, this code all along, and I swapped them out, put the brand new ones in, sure enough, a day later, it popped back up again, and the exact same thing, P300, P302, and that, I've been having that problem nonstop, and I've tried a number of different things to fix it. So. I'm online, I'm searching for, you know, okay, what else is on the checklist of things I can go look at to try and figure out why it's doing this. Because it's really odd that you're getting both of them all the time. And uh, came across, uh, you know, the next thing would be um, uh, injectors. You know, maybe I have a bad injector. Um, and so, I, well, I, I could swap injectors and try and do the same kind of thing. And while I was in there, I stumbled across this. This is a service bulletin um, from Toyota that um, the yellow injectors with a certain um, computer with an ECU will throw a P300 and a P30, one, two, three, four. And it will keep doing it because there's a conflict between the injector and the computer and that's what's throwing it. Even though, and it's, even though the car's running fine, which this car runs just perfectly fine and it'll only come up once. It'll say it just registers one time. So. Um, now, I do not have this exact ECU. This ECU, I think, ends in a 2, um, if I remember right. Um, yeah, it runs in 82. Um, I have the 81, which was actually the computer before this one, and, and then it jumps to 83. Um, 83 supposedly took care of the problem. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to switch out my injectors. So um, the difference is these are the brown injectors. Um, you can get these a number of different places uh, that they're available and they're all for the same reason. Um, same, uh, same volume, um, same jetting, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm going to swap these out and see if that's what I'm, what I'm having a problem because I am running out of ideas on how to fix this weird little problem of this code that keeps popping up even though the car runs great. So I'm going to try this today. Um, I'll, I'll put a link to this, uh, this, this um, sheet, the service bulletin, um, in case, you know, you run into this. All right. So here we are in the engine bay and, uh, the tough part is here's the fuel rail and the ejectors are you know, right here. Here's the plugs for them. It's just really tight to get your hand in there get everything in there, get it lined up. I don't know if you remember when I, whoops, just dropped something. When I did this originally, you got to just finger push them in and try and line everything up. It's a little challenging. Um, so, uh, I'll work on getting that done and um, then we'll see what the results are. Um, I've got the yellow injectors. They're the original ones that came with this engine. So, you know, it could be something with the injector itself as well. Just to point that out, it could be, I do have a bad injector. I don't know. Um, but um, by ch changing to these, I think I killed two birds with one stone. So we'll see how it goes. All right. So all you got to do is these little clips, these unplug. You don't have to um, undo the fuel rail. You can leave the fuel rail connected. Um, but once you get those four done, you got two of these long uh, 12 millimeter bolts. They're all that hold in the fuel rail. And then from there, it's just lifting the thing up, which like I said, everything's just hard to reach. It just lifts right up like that. And now you can separate the injectors from the rail. You leave the rail in there and then you can fiddle the injectors out. So it's just kind of a pain, but they come out like that. So uh, get those out of there and then we'll uh, try the new ones. All right, so the biggest pain in getting these things out was the little uh, um, gasket at the bottom, uh, you know, in the, seated down in the, in the manifold, uh, they would get stuck. So, you know, little, little pry tool, lots of fingers, get it out of there. Now, I did just discover this. I don't know if you can see it very well in here, but this is from number two where I was having the problems and that 
did not seat right. It's all, it obviously seated a little crooked. And maybe that's why I was getting the airs. If I was getting a little leakage there, some air, um, maybe that's why it was doing it, but that didn't seat right. And since it's in the back, you just can't see them. So could be that was my problem. Um, so uh, we'll see. Um, maybe these injectors are fine, um, or probably they're fine. And uh, but I'll put those brown ones in anyways. They've got the new gaskets, and uh, we'll be real careful and make sure they get mounted upright. All right, so I've got them in there. I think you just got to be real careful and patient to get them all lined up. Each one of them lined up in there, nice and straight. I put them all in the bottom seats first and uh, lined them up into the fuel rail at the same time so they were in their slots. And hopefully I didn't get them uh, kinked off this time. They tightened up nice and even. Take your time and tighten them up, plug them all back in, and uh, we can reset the computer and see how we do. Hopefully this takes care of it. So at this point I've got the engine running, um, which killed my audio. Um, so um, I'm voicing this over. I'm checking to make sure that there is uh, no fuel leaks. Uh, if you have the injectors mounted uh, off, there'll be fuel coming out onto the intake and that could start a fire. And we don't want that to happen. But everything looked terrific. And uh, the engine's running great. So I think those injectors might work. We'll see over the next couple of days to see if uh, the codes come back. But uh, those brown injectors may have been the trick. Plus, we had that little leak, that one gasket that was in there bad. So, we'll see. But, uh, again, found one more little problem that we're able to solve, which is great. Thanks. See you next time.